In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to install a web server on an iOS device. And because that's kind of boring with a web server alone, I'm also going to demonstrate how to install WordPress on it. Uh, for this tutorial, you're going to need an iOS device running iOS 4 or higher, and it has to be jailbroken with knowledge of how to use Cydia, and you're also going to need web development skills. For this uh, tutorial, you're going to have to go into Cydia, go into Manage, and select Settings, and you're going to have to set it to Developer, or else you aren't going to be able to see the packages you need to install. Now we're going to install five packages, OpenSSH, which will allow us to access the shell and the file system, LightTPD, which is our web server, PHP, which is a web development technology, and we're also going to need SB settings and the LightTPD switch so that we can turn the server on without accessing the shell. There is also a switch for boss prefs, however it doesn't come with the necessary configuration file for LightTPD, so you would have to create one manually. Next, we're going to go into settings and Wi-Fi networks and we're going to locate our iPod Touches, iPhone or iPad's IP address. This will be necessary throughout the entire tutorial. So, let's get started by opening a web browser we're going to be doing a search for PuTTY. PuTTY is a free software which will allow us to SSH into our device and access the shell or command line. So we're going to go ahead and download the installation file and we're going to proceed to install PuTTY. Once we have installed PuTTY, we are going to proceed to launch our application and we are going to proceed to type in the IP address of our iOS device. Make sure to select SSH and then select Open. Once we're here, we will have successfully SSH'd into the, de the device. Proceed to log in as root or super user and using the default SSH password of Alpine. Now, once you have successfully accessed the root, you're going to proceed to change your root password. So we're going to go ahead and type in password, I mean pass WD, and then type in your new password. Now, once we have successfully changed our iOS device password, we're going to proceed to turn the server on using SB settings. Now that we have done this, we're going to proceed to open up a web browser and download a program called WinSCP. This program will allow us to SFTP our device, or in other words, access the file system of our iOS device. And this is necessary in order to uh, install our website, our basic HTML or PHP files or whatever technology you are using. So we are going to proceed uh, to follow the default installation for WinSCP. Now once you've successfully installed WinSCP, we're going to proceed to log in using our IP address for our iOS device, our username, and our newly changed password. And under protocol, you're going to select SFTP. And then proceed to select Yes. Now once we're in WinSCP, we're going to proceed to go to our www directory. And you should see some files that came with the Light TPD installation. So now we're going to go ahead and open up Firefox and we're going to proceed to put in our iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad's IP address and we will see the sample HTML and PHP files that came with our web server. And now you can proceed to create your own static 
uh, HTML or PHP website, but that's kind of boring. We want a content management system. So let's go ahead and install WordPress. Now we're going to start off with the default WordPress, WordPress package at wordpress.org. So go ahead and navigate to wordpress.org and download the WordPress zip file. And now since um, we do not have MySQL installed on our Lite TPD, so go ahead and do a search for WordPress SQLite and you will see the PDO SQLite plugin for WordPress. And you're going to go ahead and proceed to download this plugin as well. Now once you have both of these zip files, we are going to proceed to extract both of the zip files. And once we have proceeded to extract both the zip files, we're going to go into the PDO and we're going to copy the database file the PHP configuration file and the folder and we're going to paste those into the WP content folder under the WordPress folder. And then we're going to proceed to go into the WP config file, rename it just to say WP config and we're going to proceed to add in define and we're going to define our database to SQL Lite. Now once we have this, we're going to save that. And now we're going to proceed to log into WinSCP. And once we log into WinSCP, we are going to proceed to copy all of our uh, WordPress files over to our www directory. We are going to proceed to navigate to our iPod Touches or iPhone or iPad's IP address. And we're going to proceed to set up WordPress. And this is like any other typical WordPress installation. And once we've done this, uh, we're going to go ahead and click on the login button on the bottom of the page. And to proceed to uh, take a look at our website. And that's it. Uh, you successfully installed WordPress on your iPod Touch is web server. And from now, from here, all you have to do is set up port forwarding and a domain name, a DNS routing. And that's it. You successfully installed a web server on your iOS device and installed WordPress on the web server. And that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please go to thehackersjournal.com.